Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I will be discussing and expounding upon the secret of the fifth world and Atika Kadisha. With that being said, let us begin. In my prior videos, when discussing the worlds and when discussing Ayn, there was the image of this man in the top left hand corner. This man, as you can see, is constructed out of the letters. And they are the letters of the Hebrew alphabet, which were the original vessels by which contained the principles of existence. And these principles of existence would be the precursor to creation. Before he split that they would be beginnings with ends, they were originally just one thing the vessels that contain the principles and this would be in the likeness of a man that man being the first man and Atika Kadisha means the ancient holy one and this ancient holy one placed itself in the garments of Otik Yomin which means the ancient of days by which this Otik reached from one end of the world all the way to Malkuth and all of the other aspects and particulars were garments and vestures of this original. So again, Otika Kadisha represents the principles pre-existence. Now it is a most concealed of all concealments. Regarding this, it is only cryptically mentioned. We find a mentioning in Exodus, but before we find the mentionings of Atika Kadisha and identify his identity, let us first analyze Zohar Book 9, Section Bo, called The Crocodiles. It says here, Rabbi Shimon said, Now it is proper to reveal secrets that are attached above and below. It is written, Come to Pharaoh. But it should have said, Go to Pharaoh. What is the meaning of come? He answers, He brought Moses into the innermost rooms to a very powerful crocodile from which many levels evolve and come down. And what was it? It was the secret of the great serpent, which is Pharaoh. This crocodile comes into that river, which is Cather of the Rivers becomes strengthened by it, continues to swim, and enters into the sea, which is the Malkuth of Atilut. So here we have an equation of Pharaoh and Atilut, placing the story of Exodus in Atilut. With this understanding, let us analyze Exodus. This is Rashi's commentary. So in Shemot, in Exodus, we're going to find, it says, that Pharaoh took with him 600 chosen chariots. And so 600 plus Pharaoh himself is 7. And Rashi says something very cryptic in his commentary. He says down here, he says, and I will not conduct myself towards you as other kings. It is the custom of other kings that his servants precede him in war, but I shall go ahead before you. Now, this is in the secret of the seven sparks and the seven sparks are in the beard and it has been established that we are in Atsiluth and Pharaoh is in Atsiluth and it has been established that the Shin Tet Nun which are the Chese Gavur and Tiferet of the sparks the seven sparks which are the beard of Arikan Pin it is said of them and he made ready his chariot being Pharaoh, and those three sephirot 
are called a chariot. And it is known that Hold rises into Gavor, rises into Bina. Likewise, Netzach rises into Chesed, rises into Hokmah. And it is known that Yisod rises into Tiferet, rises into Da'at, rises into Kether. In the same likeness. So, keeping this established, we have the seven sparks in the mystery of the six chosen chariots and the seventh spark being Pharaoh. And here we see it says, Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And it says, Et Yeshua Yahuwah. Which, being Asher, as in Ehiya, Asher Ehiya, placing this partufim, has been demonstrated that every instance of Aleph Tav is a partufim, which is a partufim Yeshua, and Kather. And it says, which he will work for you, Yaase. The day, as in Yom Echad, referring to the days of creation, which are all one. So this is before Berea, before the works of creation. And of the mystery of Yeshua, then it says, which you will work for you, and the word work here is Yaase, comes from the word Asiya. Of this secret, Isaiah the prophet says this. Chapter 46, verse 10, it says, declaring from the beginning, Merashit, the end. And that man in the fifth world is Partsuv, Yeshua, Yehua. And it declares the working, Yaese, which is the secret of Asiya. And here we can see the word Asiya is formed from the same letters. And as the prophet Isaiah said, declaring the end from the beginning. It says that the parts of Yeshua, Yahua, says that he is going to work for them the day. Now, we've already established that this is the secret of Asiya, and Hayom is the secret of Yom Akkad, and Yom means day. And this says the day, singular, as in Ekad. And it refers to the days of creation. And this is the infinite verse that follows, chapter 14. And in chapter 14 are the verses for the 72 letter names of Hashem, which the sages said created existence. And these are the secrets of the swallowing up of the 600 chariots and... Pharaoh, which are the mystery of the seven sparks. And of this, it says, verse 19, 20, and 21. So that's chapter 14, verse 19, 20, and 21 in Hebrew have exactly 72 characters each. Now, referring back to book 9, it says, regarding that, and it has been established that the, the verse 19, which is the angel moved, it begins with that, are the letters associated with Chesed. So therefore, this is the square of Chesed, which was given to the first spark, which we know was Chesed, and the mystery of the seven sparks. The second verse was given to Gevura, the mystery of the second spark, and it has been demonstrated. And the third verse was marked with this 72 letter name and is in the mystery of the third spark which is Tiferet and so we have all three sparks which create the part of the beard of Adi Pin. this has been demonstrated and it has been demonstrated that this entire 
section of the Torah happens in Atzilut. It has been attested to by the Zohar and in the Torah itself. And regarding this, it says, all the second 72 letter name pertain to Kavura, as I've already demonstrated, so as to reveal judgments and weapons. And the word weapons here is Zayn. And this is in the mystery of the crowns of the letters. And it has been demonstrated that those seven sparks that have those crowns are their mystery. These were the kings without a crown, without weapons. That being said, we have learned the secret of the fifth world and the mystery of that individual. Shalom. Salam.